I'm now going to show you how to build your own family trees on ZoomPass, www.zoompass.org. The first thing you need to do is sign in, or if you don't yet have an account, create one by clicking the Get Started button. All you need to do is enter your email address, a choice of username, a password, accept the terms of use and click the register button. This is the page you'll see when you first log into ZoomPass. In order to make your own family tree, first click on the create new tree icon. Enter the name of the tree and press the create button. You'll begin with just one person represented by a question mark in the middle of the screen. First click on that person and press the edit button. You can add further relatives of this person or edit their basic information by pressing the buttons at the top. I'm going to begin by editing the basic information of the person. Here as an example I'm going to make a family tree for Charles Darwin. You can enter the first name, middle name, last name, the birth date, birth location, death date and death location. You can also select the sex of the person and then when you're finished press update. Now say I want to add an image of Charles Darwin here. Press edit again and select edit image. You'll notice that I'm now in a dialogue where I can switch at the top between the image section and the basic information that I've just edited as well as the other options that I'll explain in a moment. Click choose image and then browse within your computer to the image you want and then press choose. You can add an image credit if you wish, press update. Now Charles Darwin is there with the credit for his image. Suppose I want to add Charles Darwin's wife. Press edit, add spouse and I'm going to put her name in. Notice that because this is a female person we can enter the born as name or maiden name. You can also select the relationship type and you can enter a start date or if there was divorce you can enter an end date as well. Press create. Emma Darwin is now on the tree along with Charles Darwin and there is a marriage node in between. You can press edit on the marriage node to once again change the settings of the relationship between Emma and Charles. Now let's add some further information about Charles Darwin here. Press the edit box again and now we can edit his biography. You can enter his job and some further details about him. Now a biography box has appeared which we can click on to see the biography about Charles Darwin. The other area of information that we can edit is the email and web setting. I'm going to paste from my clipboard a web link for the Wikipedia page of Charles Darwin, but it could be any link, and press update. Now when I click on the Wikipedia link, his Wikipedia page is there within ZoomPass to be explored. You can also edit the email address, which of course doesn't exist for Charles Darwin but let's say he did have an email address it says this is not registered with zoom past yet but we can send an invitation so if he was one of my relatives and I was trying to build a family tree together we can press send invitation but I'm now going to add Charles Darwin's son you can see that if Charles Darwin had married more than once we could use this box to select the mother of this child create. Now there's George Darwin. You'll see that now there's more than one person in the tree. When I click edit there's now a larger box which enables me to delete the person out of the tree. Now Henrietta Darwin is no longer in the tree. If this was a mistake I can undo by pressing the undo button at the bottom and also the redo. I'm now going to show you some of the social networking features of the website. You can click on family and friends and you'll see that I've got one incoming request from the curator. I can accept or decline this. If curator had had a profile image, it would have appeared here. I'm going to press accept. This number eight tells me the number of trees that the curator has got. If I click on their profile, you'll see these are the trees. I can edit my own profile with my name and contact details and I can save the changes. I can also upload a GEDCOM file Enter the name of the tree, a credit line if you want to acknowledge the person that you got the GEDCOM from, and then choose the file from your computer. And then press upload. These three icons enable you to browse the public trees 
trees that your friends have shared with you on the site and your own trees. You'll see that I've done several examples here whilst creating the Darwin family tree. I can edit or delete any of these. In editing, I can turn on automatic Wikipedia links if I want, but unless your tree is of famous people, that's unlikely to be helpful. You can also upload a cover image for your genealogy by clicking here. I'm now going to show you how to merge two trees together. First, click the Merge button at the bottom right. You'll then have to select a person from the current tree who you want to be the point where the trees are linked. Next, choose a tree to link with and enter the name of the person in that tree. This will create a brand new tree containing the merge of these two previous trees. The two previous trees will remain unchanged by the process. On this tree, Charles Darwin is the root. If I want George Darwin to be the root, I zoom in and press the root button on George Darwin's node. If I want the default root of the tree to be George Darwin, I press the set default root button. This means that the current root of the tree will be the main root for everyone browsing. I'm now going to show you how to edit the sharing settings on this tree. Click on the padlock icon on the bottom right and then select either for this tree to be private, which means only you can see it, shared with friends, which means only those that you've connected with on the website can see the tree, which is only recommended if your tree is a historic one rather than your personal tree containing information about your family. You can also give permission to individual friends or family members to edit this tree and improve upon it. This is especially appropriate if it's a joint history project or if you're working with your family members to build your own family tree together. Once you've chosen the settings you want, press save. 